Hi, this is Headshot, and this is my reaction to the Call of Duty dev team potentially going to the no moon for $100 million investments, leaving Activision Blizzard effective immediately today. I'm very disappointed that Bobby had to write a letter addressing the underpaying of women after you received over $300 million for the Call of Duty League. You charge leagues $25 million to compete in the league just for YouTube gaming. You haven't reached out you haven't reached out to national television you haven't gotten the viewers that the call of duty community for the pro scene treyarch studios black ops cold war deserve for optic gaming phase minnesota la gorillas new york subliners florida mutineers um paris legion toronto ultra um some, seattle surge some of the la thieves some of the top organizations are stuck to YouTube 30,000, 40,000 views after paying Activision $25 million. So Bobby failed the Call of Duty League by helping them get televised, by helping them getting television contracts. I think lazy ownership, you pocketed $200 million, fi firing employees, your, your so-called board approved of the firing of over, uh, what is it, 1,000 employees got fired, another thousands walking out, and you know, you send a letter trying to say that, well, we were tone deaf to the initial. How are you tone deaf to women? You know, are you a womanizer? Are you a women abuser? Do you beat your wife? Um, are, 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 do you commit domestic violence? Are you verbally abusive? Are you an alcoholic? Are you addicted to prescription drugs? Because Bobby's mental isn't there. Because it, it, nothing that you're saying makes sense. Um, your letters don't make sense at Activision. Um, your responses, your, the investigation that took two years uh, shouldn't have happened. Women that got promotion, women that got upgraded should have gotten paid more. The salaries should be higher. You don't pocket $30 billion from Warzone, $300 million from Call of Duty League to underpay women. So, you know, uh, I don't think anybody wants to work for Bobby, no matter how, how much he tries to be empathetic, no matter how much remorseful, no matter how apologetic he seems, his actions speak louder than his emails. That law firm isn't going to give women their salary that they deserve. That law firm isn't going to take away the sexual abuse, the verbal abuse that they received from their bosses that they received from coworkers, the fact that you weren't available, the fact that you didn't respond, the fact that it's your company, it's your employees, you picked them out of the application process, the same application process that I had to go through. You picked them out and you treated them the way that you treated them to a point to where is that you got reported to the Department of Labor for pay discrepancy for pay discrimination for underpaying women in a corporate job that made 30 billion dollars for this video game here this this skin this raft skin made more money for call of duty than anything out there season three battle pass made more money for warzone than anything out there and for the and for you to just sit there with a letter you know you need to be writing checks you need to be paying like all the women that you didn't pay. You need to send them the money because we don't care about your words, Bobby. We don't care about your apology. We didn't graduate college. I didn't graduate college to work for a company to be underpaid when you're selling skins like Wrath and making billions of dollars. There's nothing that you can say. There's nothing that you can do that is going to change the way you paid women the way that you treated men, the way that the bosses was able to get away with it, the way that the culture was accepted for you to be investigated by the state department of labor for two years, for them to bring a court case, for your executives to be dismissive, not empathetic, to a point to where you had to come out, Bobby the CEO, with a letter to try to say, we got a law firm to accept any cases to be, for us to be looking into. We want to be transparent. We want to be there. We want to change our culture. You shouldn't want to change your culture after the lawsuit is public.
I want Bobby to step down as the Activision CEO immediately. I want him to be removed immediately. I mean, you're basically, you're up there with Steve Mnuchin. You know how Steve Mnuchin, do you know who Steve Mnuchin is? Steve Mnuchin foreclosed veterans' homes and made 25 to $26 million by putting veterans out of their homes. You made $200 million by putting people out of their jobs. Not only that, you didn't even fire the sexual predators that are being accused of harassing your female employees. You fired all the other employees, but you didn't fire the men, the bosses that committed these atrocities to the women in your work field. Um, you know, personally, I think Bobby has an issue with women. I think that um, he's a womanizer. He could be a woman abuser. He could be verbally abusive, physically abusive. Um, his business, Bobby's business practices at Activision is the same as Steve Mnuchin. If you don't know who Steve Mnuchin is, look up what Steve Mnuchin did with foreclosing veterans in Nevada. Put over 300,000 veterans out of their homes. Didn't have to foreclose. His bank foreclosed homes and he made 25 to $26 million from that. Activision fired people and their board of directors made $200 million from that. You guys made over $30 billion from Activision from Call of Duty Warzone, from skins, battle passes, merc shops. I don't know how you accumulated so much money, but Call of Duty is now past $30 billion. Bobby doesn't want to leave his enterprise. Bobby doesn't want to give up his high seat. Bobby doesn't want to let go of the throne. But it's, it's, it's something wrong when the CEO admits that he failed in his own company. And your job is to run your company, by the way. Your job is to make sure employees is taken care of. So far, Activision has pocketed over $30 billion and they have underpaid their women. They underpaid their staff. The workplace has sexual harassment, has sexual predator behavior. The customer service department is not available. I went to the Activision website after putting in applications and I couldn't find customer service. How are these women going to find customer service if I couldn't find customer service? You know, Activision is running like a small cult, a small cult that just doesn't want to pay people out. You don't want to hook people up with money. You don't want to take care of your staff. 